Hello guys. Uh, I have received a lot of requests lately. If I could explain a little further about my configuration using the Raspberry Pi, um, streaming video and telemetry uh, to the cellular network through my ground control, control stations. I will uh, make a basic video here, uh, show you what's important. There are some things that is, is pretty important to know about. I will try to pin it out for you. Um, you will also find a lot of information on my site. Uh, there is some lack of informa information there. Uh, I haven't had enough time uh, to written as much as I hope for. But um, you will find a lot of uh, good and nice snippets there. UAVmetis.com So, um, first thing uh, we will concentrate about is the Raspberry Pi, okay? Uh, uh, what you need to know. Uh, the first thing, you need to, you need a good power source. You need to have an external power supply. That's the first thing. Connect the power supply. I'm using 5 amps power supply. Um, if you are not using this, the board will just uh, go off when you connect uh, this, uh, the heavy consumers on the on the USB ports. So uh, have a good power source. Uh, that's the first thing. Uh, then uh, it's all depending on what you are going to use of the hardware. Uh, if you're using a GoPro camera, you will also have to need to use an EasyCap uh, video uh, capture device. Uh, what's important to know that um, uh, if you um, if you are using this EasyCap, there are several types that are fakes. Uh, are fake. So uh, you need to know that you're using the right chip, the SDK 1160. Um, if not, if you're not using this one, the Raspberry N will not recognize it. Okay, so get the correct one. Then you need to download the correct software for Raspberry N. Uh, if you using if you using GoPro and this uh, EasyCap uh, device, you need to download. Um, the correct version uh, from last year. Uh, you will find the download link in my site. Um, if you're using a new version, the Raspberry will uh, not recognize the EasyCap device. I I do not know why, but um, uh, you need to you, anyway. You need to use this one. Download it, install it through Raspberry Pi. Go through the the regular configuration settings. I'm using the medium overclocking um, for this. And um, after you have done that, you can connect to your Raspberry Pi using the SSH or Telnet or whatever. Uh, so when you're connecting, uh, you will get a picture looking more like this. Um, okay, so um, first thing, be the super user. Um, uh, when you have connected uh, the EasyCap device, to your uh, Raspberry, there is one thing that you need to do to be sure that um, that um, the Raspberry is recognizing this thing. Uh, so uh, to to find it out, you can use the lsusb command. Um, you will then see um, what is connected to USB ports. Um, uh, if everything is okay, you should get this line. You see the video capture device uh, located at this address. Um, if you not get this uh, line, you, you you probably have a wrong EasyCap device or you have a wrong version uh, installed to the Raspberry Pi. So there's also another way to find out uh, if you have the correct version. Um, you should have this uh, video zero. If this one is this is not showing up, then you have a, a problem somewhere. And um, if you got the video zero there, then you are probably good to go. Um, then uh, you need to download the guest streamer um, software for streaming uh, and capture from the EasyCap device. Um, you will find instructions on our site how to use it, uh, how to install it. You see the uh, step by step uh, how to install it here. Um, then you can just copy and paste this one, copy it. Uh, go to Raspberry Pi, uh, make just a folder somewhere. Um, okay, I made a folder um, there. And um, make a, a script. Uh, yeah. You can use Nano as editor. I have made the, I have made the EasyCap uh, SH there. And just uh, just paste it in. Uh, what's important to know here is that um, the IP address uh, must be the, 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 the dynamic address for your ground consult 
control station you can use uh, the, uh, the din, din din as address or for this video i'm connected to the local network here just for testing so i'm using my computer's ip address um, and then um, you will see that it's using the video zero device which i showed you la uh, earlier um, then uh, you should be good to go uh, just uh, you can just uh, change mod um, 7555 to this file just to it's this is writable okay so then um, uh, you sh then you should be good to go to actually stream the video if, um, if you have connected uh, the GoPro camera you should be able to stream the video now my GoPro camera is not connected for a moment um, but uh, it will stream anyway but I don't get the picture okay so let's start it you just type sh and uh, and um, and if and the script file you make you just make so just start it and it will hopefully start streaming now Let's go a couple of seconds, and you will see a lot of numbers and and, uh, and stuff. Okay, the pipeline is is there. It started. Okay, so we're looking good. Then you can go to you. Um, then you can go to your computer. Um, uh, just now, I'm I'm not using the cellular network. I'm just just using using the the local uh, network at my home just to show you and testing it because uh, if it's working in, in your local uh, at your local network it also will be working in your cellular network so um, okay uh, the Raspberry Pi is streaming for a moment okay then you go to the um, then you uh, can you can do it in several ways on your computer you can use the VLC or you can use the gear streamer for Windows uh, I will show you the uh, guest streamer for Windows. Um, just go to the guest streamer site, download the the, the, the software for Windows, uh, install it. Then you open the command line. Uh, you need to navigate to the to the um, uh, guest streamer directory. Um, I will see if I can find it here. Uh, uh, yes. The pin directory. Okay, there we are. So uh, just navigate to your guest email directory. Then you can go to my site. Uh, just copy and paste uh, the, um, the guest email code for the Windows uh, receiving. Copy that one. Uh, just paste it uh, to um, into this uh, command line. Then uh, yeah. There are coming some stuff on the end there. You should delete that one. Okay, then it should start. And hopefully we'll have a picture. Uh, okay, there we are. So, um, if you, if I had the, the GoPro connected now, you will have the picture here now. So, okay, so now is that working? It's um, pretty simple as that to get this up and going. Um, you can play with the parameters in in the Raspberry Pi or in the ground console station to make the picture better and everything. Uh, I haven't tested I haven't tested yet in the air with the GoPro. Uh, I will test it soon uh, and I will post a video uh, about the quality and everything. Last time uh, I was using the USB uh, regular webcam and um, the, the the quality was actually very good, but um, the problem is I cannot record the HD uh, while I'm flying. So hopefully the GoPro will uh, make a good quality, and uh, and uh, I will also uh, have the opportunity to to record in the HD. So okay, then the video is up and running. Then we can close that one. So if you are going to use um, a regular uh, USB web camera, uh, you can install the newest version to Raspberry Pi. It doesn't matter. Uh, it's only if you're using GoPro, you need to use a specific uh, software for Raspberry. So if you're using a USB web camera, just install the latest version to Raspberry. It doesn't matter. Then you can use just the same configuration as I showed you as I showed you um, earlier now, you can use the same parameters for the gear streamer, you can use the same parameters in the Raspberry N to stream the video. Um, when you connect the web camera, uh, regular USB web camera, the video device will also show up as video zero. 
so you can use uh, just the same okay so now hopefully you have the video um, uh, streaming sorted out so let's go over to the telemetry uh, settings okay so um, <sighs> there are several ways to do this but uh, the easy, most easiest way is to use the Certo net uh, uh, software you can find that also in my website Certo net um, okay here is uh, line by line how you should install it um, just to uh, copy and paste this to your Raspberry Pi um, do the edits in these files uh, when you have done that uh, go to Raspberry Pi again um, uh, if you want to, to, to configure a different port um, this will be the port you the port you're using so um, you can go to the etc and you can uh, edit this okay so I'm using for this test now I'm using the port 2000 uh, and this is the yeah, this is the, the serial uh, address to the Raspberry Pi and we're using board rates of 57,600 um, then um, it's important that you connect the uh, the TX from the from the APM or the pixel controller to the RX on the on the uh, Raspberry Pi and the RX from the APM or pixel to the TX of the Raspberry Pi. Um, when you have done that and you have everything connected, you can just start to see the certain net. Um, I'll just make sure that it's not running. Then you can just type Certonet and then it should be running. Yes, it is. Then, hopefully, uh, we should now be able to connect the mission planner directly to the Ape, uh, to the Raspberry Pi. Um, I am on the local network, as I said earlier. Just for this testing, I will show you the cellular network later on. Okay. Uh, so we're using 57,600 using TCP protocol. Uh, the Certo net is not um, is uh, not um, su supporting the UDP. So you have to use uh, the TCP. Um, hit the connect button, uh, the IP address, or you uh, dynamic address to your um, Raspberry Pi. And we're using the 2000 port. Then connect. It should be connecting. Okay, so we are online. So, okay, so that is working. Huh? Um, the trick, you know, is to put everything together, uh, make this as a blind connection. Everything will start up uh, when you power up the board, when you, as soon as you power the battery in, you put the battery in, everything will start up in the sequence. Um, and that you can do in this uh, boot up uh, script. Uh, I'm just using the 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 RC dot local uh, boot up. So to edit this, just um, just uh, type nano, and you can go as a local. Okay. So here is my boot up script. This is just um, this is not the final one, but this is more or less how it. Uh, mine is looking. Um, uh, we have not talked about the the trigger yet. This is this is a circuit. This is for um, connecting the the cellular network, uh, and then it's it sleep for forty seconds because it takes some time because before it's connecting to the cellular network, and uh, then we start the easy cap uh, as we as I told you earlier. Um, this starts to stream the video. And this one we have not talked about yet. Uh, this is um, uh, another way to stream the telemetrata uh, using uh, a TTL to Ethernet adapter. Uh, but I'm still struggling with the UDP on the Pixhawk, so uh, I will uh, come back to that later on. And um, this is uh, the Inadin is for the dynamic IP address on my Raspberry. 
um, so I can I can connect Raspbian uh, when it is in there. Uh, yeah, and um, so okay.